my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Baby and a Bush Births of Moses and the Burning Bush Exodus chapter 1 to 6 verse 6 to 2 Sorry. Egypt was filled with Israel. The new Pharaoh was afraid that the Israel would be too powerful. So he made them slaves and treat them very badly. So Egypt was filled with Israel people. Israel is in Egypt because like Joseph was there. So they have king. Now there are new Paro and that Paro was very afraid because the Israel could be very powerful. Okay. Paro ordered that all the baby's boy have to be killed. One woman put, the, put her baby in a basket and hide him by the river's edge. His sister watched him. So, Paro ordered to kill all the baby boys in Israel. And one mother of the baby did, didn't want to be killed. This baby, so he hide on a in a basket and hide him by the river edge, and her sister watched him. Oh, there's a turtle and a fish. He's cute. <laughs> Question that Paro made has is the Israel slave because he thought they were becoming too weak? No. Paro has made the Israel slaves because he thought they were <coughs> becoming too powerful. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing by the river. She found a baby and, and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. So Pharaoh's daughter, the princess of the Egypt, has found the baby and the her sister, Marian. Uh, asked the Paro soldier that offered their mother's help. So, so the Paro's daughter agreed and he named her she named her Moses.
Moses grew up when they, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fell to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. So Moses knew that he was an Israel. And one day, Egyptian was beating on Israel, so like, Moses has killed the Egyptian. And gone to Midian, and we have to, we have been shepherd for forty years. Moses was watching his sheep and Mount Harod. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. Moses was watching a shrimp and one day like God there were around one burning bush and but the bush didn't burn and God spoke to him My people are suffering <coughs> sorry suffering like so Moses, I have chosen you to free them. So God has chosen Moses to free the Israel people. I, I can't, Moses cried. I will help you, God promised. Throw down your staff. Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. So Moses would say, I can't. Then God said to throw your stuff in his bed. And God said to pick it up, and it became a stick. Oh, there was a question with the bed. We should do that. Question, how did God speak to Moses? Number one, the burning bush. There's no diamonds in this story today. Put your hand in your claw. God said, Moses did. He licked it. It was covered with Jesus. When he did again, it was healed. Show Paro that God said, so God said to put the hand in the clothes and it was filled with Jesus. <laughs> and God said to put it again and it became red. Oh, here's a diamond. Damn. Rogan loves that. I am not a good speaker, said Moses. I will give you the words. God said, your brother Aaron, Aaron can help you. So Moses went to tell Paro to see the Israel's free. So God let Aaron to go with him. We'll find another one. Bible down. Question. God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Paro let the Israel go. True. You have got a star. Okay. Yes, today I heard the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!